live, however, not downtown. He is out in Sterling Heights having some fun in all of the cold today. Hey, Dave. There are two spots to stay warm here today, Joe. One's the uh, the fired pizza. They got their own pizza oven going over there, and the other one's over here with uh, the fresh kettle corn. Now, I never thought you could have too much kettle corn, but here's apparently what happens when you do. You get full, and it just all comes out. So uh, a little Halloween flavor here at the Farmer's Market in Dodge Park in Stone Heights, and you are the warmest guy around. Yes, what I what am. kind of temperature is that kettle putting out? That's putting out about 140,000 BTUs. It's a little jet engine. Nice. So we found the spot here. Now, uh, tell me your name again, Mr. Bruno. My name is Bob Bruno. Bob Bruno. And how long have you been out here? All summer? We've been here since it started this summer. It started in May. And how's the event been? Oh, very good. Very good. For a first time market, it's really doing well. We're and you guys excited. are going to be here through February, is that right? No, this is it. No, this <laughs> is it. This is it. <laughs> I know. Sorry about the cold weather. Uh, you're a Sterling High president too, right? Yes, I am. About and 25 years. Tell us a little bit about Dodge Park and the town and, and, and uh, what you guys have been doing out here. I know this is kind of the focal spot for the uh, community, isn't it? Right. We've been coming to Dodge Park for years with the kids and all that. And I, I, this place needed, Sterling Heights needed a market or something like this. I think it's a really good thing. Are you dressing up this year for Halloween? I'm, well, I kind of am. I'm the kettle corn guy. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us a little bit. Uh, it'll get warmer next week, all right? All so right. I, I hope it takes not, not too long to get there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> kettle corn's great. They've got the trick-or-treat bowls out. The kids have been running around doing a little trick-or-treating as well. So it's been a nice day. Yeah, there you go. You can come up and get a little treat. A little, little treat for Halloween. Right now, the crowd is actually building back in as we get a little later in the day. There's trick-or-treating, all kinds of fun again, open until 7 o'clock. I can't wait to get in some of the big trucks we got over here, and that's going to be a lot of fun. They're open until 7 o'clock tonight. Get to check out what all the big boys do around the city. It's still heights here in the big rigs. Fire truck, I think it's probably a little too windy for the ladder truck today, but we'll have some more fun investigating coming up in a few minutes. If you're coming out, Cover up the uh, fingertips and the ear tips. It's a little chilly in this wind. Hopefully they can fire up the heat in those trucks, Dave. That's a good point. <laughs> right. We're just hanging out the kettle corn. That sounds exactly. like a win-win right there. <laughs> it's right. a jet engine. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You know, every year kids go out trick-or-treat.